finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have gave the revelation to Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam to start building an ark and construct the ship under our observation and our inspiration and do not address me concerning those who have wronged. Indeed, they are to be drowned. Subhanallah. So Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam and his sons, they took, they started, you know, chopping the trees, taking the uh, the wood all the way up to the uh, uh, up to the mountains, uh, to the mountain, and he started building the ark. Subhanallah. People would pass by him, and they would ask him, "What are you doing, Nuh?" salam. So Nuh salam, he would tell them that you know you still have time to repent, and if you don't repent, this is what is going to happen. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told me to make this ark, to build this ark, and it's like a big ship. And it's going to sail in the water. So people just like started laughing at him. They, they say, what? That doesn't make any sense. An ark in the mountain up there away from the water. Now you became a carpenter after you were a prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Surta Najjaran Bada and Kunta Nabiya. You became a carpenter after you were a prophet. So the prophet Nuh alayhi salam answered them. He said, you know, don't worry, Allah subh you can mock me as much as you can, but Allah will mock you at the end. Because it says, minna. If you mock me, فَإِنَّا مِنْكُمْ كَمَا تَسْخَرُونَ We will be mocking you as you are mocking me right now. SubhanAllah. So, Nuh alayhi salam was not only a da'iya, but he was very patient. And really, da'wah needs a lot of patience. SubhanAllah. So when he finished the ark, finally the command came to Nuh salam to go into the ark. And animals started gathering to come inside the ark. And it says in the Quran or it says in the hadith that that couple of the like the couple of each animal, a male and a female used to go into the ark. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَصْنَعِ الْفُلْكَ بِأَعْيُنِنَا وَوَحَيْنَا وَلَا تُخَاطِبْنِي فِي الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا إِنَّهُمْ مُغْرَقُونَ Do not talk to me about those that they are wrongdoers. They are definitely going to be drawn in the water. Subhanallah. Now, if we look at the ark of... Uh, Nuh alayhi salam, of course, we don't have a real model or a real, you know, demonstration of the ark. And uh, this is this picture is not real. It is somebody actually drew this picture trying to visualize or imagine how it looks. But the scholars of Islam, they say that it was about 350 uh, dira. Dira, it means arm length i don't know how much is this but it was really huge and it was three stories so it was three stories and the ceiling uh, it was sealed so it has a cover from the top so when the water comes down it won't actually goes into the ark or into the ship and and sink the ship subhanallah so this was how big it was it was really huge and it was really big then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a sign to Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam. And he told him, you know, there is a place called Tanur. And that Tanur is, you know, there are some people like some old tribes or some uh, tribes, they still have it, which is like when you make like a grill from the stone. And it's basically a place where you put like, you know, stones like a circle and then you put the wood inside like inside the circle and then you lit it with fire to make like the food or to uh, to boil the water or you know or make food by it and you will see that also in some of the very old 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 houses like the amish houses or like you know they still have this little like chimney and they have the place where they put the wood in there and they lit the fire right and so they lit the fire and they make they make the food on it. So the sign was, if you see the water, like, you know, a spring of water coming out from that, from the place where the fire is, you know that this is the sign 
where actually you need to go inside the ark and hide over there because the punishment is coming. And definitely the sign came and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the doors of the heavens with pouring water and it started raining so hard. And this is where I'm going to stop right here for the next part, inshallah, because some of his family members did not make it into the ark. And we'll talk about that in depth, inshallah, next time.